sponsored by Shunk Furniture of Marquette. It's a cool, wet weather day across Upper Michigan, ending September on a cool and wet note, and I think that's how we're going to open October as well. Here's your local three radar network. You can see that the steadier rain is more in the eastern UP, so the rain does pick up the pace as you head into areas of the eastern UP, and it's a good soaking rain across northeast lower Michigan back into the Detroit area. That's because we do have a storm system that's lifting up through northern portions of Lake Huron, and that's why the more steady rain is across the eastern UP. As we look at temperatures, we do have temperatures that are around the 50 degree mark or the 50s. We got 50 for Soria International, 53 downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard, and that's the same temperature for Escanaba and Iron Mountain. As we look at our Upper Michigan outlook here, this is our in-house computer model showing future weather conditions. And as you can see, as we head through the night tonight, we're looking at the rain showers to continue, and the rain showers are going to continue here as we go into the daytime on Wednesday and also for the daytime on Thursday as well. Here's Tuesday afternoon. You can see the scattered rain showers across the UP. And then once again, and excuse me, as we go into Tuesday night here, you can see that we do have excuse me, the rain showers continuing. And then as temperatures become just cool enough here, especially as we go on the Wednesday night on into Thursday, that's where we could see some wintry precipitation. That's right, wintry precipitation mix in with some of the rain showers. So three things to know here. We're looking at the cool fall like weather to continue across the UP here as we go through pretty much the weekend. Rain showers and wind, mainly our rain chances and gusty winds at times. That's going to continue Tuesday through Thursday. I do think we start to get into some drier weather as we go into Friday, but wintry precipitation, especially for the inland areas, that can't be ruled out as we go into Thursday night. All right, as we look at tonight's forecast, rain showers, especially in the central and eastern UP for tonight. Look for low temperatures tonight, along with the gusty winds to generally be in the 40s across the UP tonight. So we'll have lows in the 40s tonight. And as we look at the extended forecast here across Upper Michigan, Again, first starting with Marquette, Marquette County, we're looking at temperatures in the 50s Tuesday and Wednesday, and then highs Thursday and Friday and into Saturday, only in the 40s. Look at those low temperatures inland Thursday night and Friday in the 20s, and that's why wintry precipitation can't be ruled out as we go into Thursday night. For the eastern UP, same deal with the temperature pattern here. We're looking at temperatures that will be on the cooler side, 50s for Tuesday and Wednesday, and then dipping back into the 40s Thursday through Saturday. Saturday, wintry precipitation can't be ruled out inland near the Sini stretch on Thursday night. As we look at the Escanaba area and Delta County, we're looking at high temperatures on Wednesday on Tuesday and Wednesday in the 50s, but only in the 40s for Thursday and Friday. You can see rain showers and gusty winds, not an all day washout, but it's definitely going to feel like fall and we could have some flakes mix in away from the lakeshore on Wednesday night or excuse me, Thursday night for the interior west 50s Tuesday and Wednesday, but 40s for Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Hopefully we do get some dry weather in there for Friday and Saturday, and then that's pretty much the same for the Keweenaw Peninsula. We're looking at temperatures on the cool fall like side in the 50s for Tuesday and Wednesday, but dipping back into the 40s for Thursday, Friday and Saturday. James, we'll send it back over to you.